Welcome to this edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. Now, today's show is a smorgasbord, a little something for everyone. A DIY story? That's right. We're not throwing in the kitchen sink, but we will throw in the dishwasher. And we have something for overnight guests, don't we? Absolutely. And we top it all off with a perfect dessert. Mmm, sounds delicious. Stay where you are. It's all coming up right now on Designing Spaces. Okay, so Debbie, I have a question. What is one of your least favorite tasks to do around the house? Hmm. You know, I'd have to say rinsing the dishes before you put them in the dishwasher. It hmm. seems like such a waste. I knew she was going to say that. I have good news for you and anybody else who feels the same way. Watch this. Before loading the dishwasher, most Americans pre-rinse the dishes. 57% of U.S. households own a dishwasher and 90% of them pre-rinse. What most of us don't know is that pre-rinsing dishes is not only time-consuming, it's also a wasteful task. According to Energy Star, pre-rinsing dishes can use up to almost 20 gallons of water per load. This habit seems like a sanitary method to prep dishes for final wash in the dishwasher, but this can be achieved in a much more eco-friendly way. Designing Spaces discovered one method that will help make dishwashing more efficient, contributing to a lower utility bill and helping the environment. Designing Spaces is here in the kitchen of Susan Hudson to take a look at something that will change the way they do the dishes. Joining me from Reckitt Benkeiser, manufacturer of the Finnish Quantum Dishwashing Detergent, is Diane Hoffman, who is an expert on dishwasher operation and how detergent chemistry impacts cleaning performance. Hi, Diane. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me, Jody. Sure. Now, I know you spend a lot of time talking with dishwasher manufacturers and developers, and it seems like it would be a good idea to pre-rinse the dishes before they go into the final cycle in the dishwasher. Would leaving food stuck to the dishes pose a problem? Well, with today's advanced detergents, it's not a problem anymore. We suggest that you just scrape, don't rinse your dishes, and put them right into the dishwasher and let the detergent do the work for you. Now we can transform our kitchen routine by using a detergent intended to work with dishes that have not been rinsed before dishwasher cycles. Some of the older detergents had either bleach, which is really good on coffee and tea stains, or enzymes, which is really good on things like macaroni and cheese and oatmeal. But the new detergents, especially like Finish Quantum, have both really powerful bleach and really powerful enzymes in them so that they can get rid of both those types of stains. And then the red ball in the center is a rinse aid gel so that you don't get any redeposit in the rinse cycle. So in this product, we get everything we need in one, and it gets the dishes really clean. Right, and stop the pre-rinse and save your manicure. We're here in the kitchen, and we have some dirty dishes in the sink. They could use a good rinsing before putting them in the dishwasher. All we recommend is that you scrape any big food particles off right into the trash and then load them right into the dishwasher. Okay, well, let's give it a test. Let's see what we okay. got Okay. Great, so we've got some mashed potatoes. What you want to do is put the most soiled products down at the bottom of the dishwasher so they get really good water flow. So like these eggs, those are tough stains, so you want to put them on the bottom. And you want to face the debris so that it's going to be hit by the sprayer arm when the cycle is running. Okay. And then you can put the glasses and the mugs up on the top rack. Alrighty. Okay, there we go. Okay, and now we have... Over. The okay. really gross one. Uh, it's even going to work for pots and pans? It is. It's absolutely going to clean pots and pans wow. and even this burnt on, dried on lasagna. Wow. I'd like to see that. Okay. And then all the cutlery goes right in. And then the macaroni and cheese pot too. So even pots and pans, a lot of people don't like to put their pots and pans in the dishwasher. But as long as the pan says that it's dishwasher safe, put it right in there. Okay. If you're using dishwasher safe pots and pans, be sure to remove any large bits of foods. And we save on water, not having to wash them by hand. Wow, I'm gonna love this. This is gonna really save me a lot of time. 
Yes, you and thousands of Americans, they all pre-wash their dishes and they waste up to 20 gallons per wash load. And even if you only run 200 washes a year, this wastes 4,000 gallons of water and your time. Okay, so we put the finished product in here. Yep, we put it right in the main wash cup. Okay. Close the door and start the cycle. All right, here we go. Okay, Diane, I think our cycle is finished here. Let's take a look. Okay. All right. So remember, we talked about how bleach works on those coffee and tea stains. Right. Wow, incredible. Look at that. Spotless. Yep. Came out. What about the bottom rack here? Now, this is another test. That was that messy egg. It's all clean. Now you said that the finished products work with the enzymes of the food, right? Tell us a little more about that. Yes, absolutely. So there's enzymes and what they do is break down the proteins and starches on the dishes. So remember we had macaroni and cheese in this pot? Yes. Now look. Incredible. All gone. <laughs> and then the true test. Yeah. Look the at that. lasagna pan. Remember, no pre-rinsing on this dish. We just put it in the dishwasher and let the detergent do its work. All too often, clean dishes have a film on them. Clear drinking glasses look cloudy. This is caused by different types of water. So we perform a test, the vinegar test, to determine what could be causing cloudy glassware. Well, there's actually two reasons you could have a cloudy glass, and one is hard water and one is soft water. But the good news is there's a really easy test that you can do to determine which is causing that problem. And I think we brought some vinegar along to do this test. Okay. So if you take a little bit of white vinegar, put it on a paper towel, okay, and then rub it on the glass. And do you start to see the film being removed? Yes, it is. Okay, so that means that that's hard water buildup. Okay. So basically you have some hard water in your home, and what you need to do is make sure that you use a detergent like Finish Quantum that's been designed to soften the water so that the detergent can do its work. You also need to use a Finish Jet Dry, like a rinse aid product, because that will help the hard water from redepositing in the rinse cycle of the machine. Okay. Now, if this is happening to my dishes and glasses in the dishwasher, it's probably happening to my dishwasher as well. So what do we do about that? Absolutely. The hard water is building up, and sometimes you'll see it on the walls of the dishwasher. Mm -hmm. But what you need to worry about is the places that you don't see it. Mm -hmm. So basically, we recommend to use a finished dishwasher cleaner once a month if you have hard water. And what that will do is remove not just the film that you see on the inside of the walls of the dishwasher, but it will remove that same buildup from the sprayer arms and the heater coil and the places that you can't see inside your dishwasher. Because obviously you want to clean your dishes with a clean dishwasher. Oh, that's right. So how do we use this? You basically just pull the sticker off the top and stand it up like a plate in your dishwasher. You run the dishwasher completely empty except for this dishwasher cleaner and let it do the work for you because obviously you'd rather clean your dishes in a clean dishwasher. Excellent. Great tip. Thank you so much for this great information. Where can we find out more about finished products? The best place to go is finishedishwashing.com forward slash designing spaces. Okay, excellent. Great tips today. We found out that we can actually help the environment, we can spend less on our utility bills, and even spend less time in the kitchen. Thank you so much, Diane. Thanks for having me. And you can also visit our website, designingspaces.tv, to see this part of the show again with our easy-to-use videos. For Designing Spaces, I'm Jody Darren. So, Debbie, did you enjoy our smorgasbord? I did. You know, it was a great variety, but not enough. Well, I know you're hungry for more, but mm -hmm. we are out of time. All right. Well, we'll see you next time on Designing Spaces. Oh, and our holiday shows are coming up soon, so we'll see you next week. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. Thanks for watching. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.